I've got a nice big double garage with small house attached. So in this series, we're going to be transforming this garage into the ultimate showroom, workshop, sort of studio space as well for me to record all of my videos in. I'm really, really excited about this. But first of all, let's open the shutters and take you for a quick tour. Welcome back to day five or day four. I think it's day four. Day four of the boarding. Wobble's on his way around again. I mean, what a hero. What a hero he's been for this project and the amount of stick he's got in the comments as well. I mean, God. So yeah, he's a hero. My hero, your hero too, Mavis, isn't he? Where have all the good men gone? Not this silly twat. So today we are going to finish the boarding. There's a little small section here to finish and then we're going to go on to taping the ceiling and then we're just going to skim it. We're going to skim the garage. So um, we're not going to tape fill. We're just going to skim the whole thing. So uh, we're going to test out our skimming skills. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's going to be good. The whole garage, the whole skimming and plastering and all that will be finished in this episode. Then we'll have a fully plastered room ready for painting and more exciting things. So this is the last episode to do with plaster. I absolutely promise. Thank goodness. Chopsy, roll that intro. put some sockets over here on the back wall we've got some usb two usb sockets here and then i've got another two sockets and another one here so um there's going to be units going here there's going to be some craft works corner units so all of this is going to have units in a corner unit configuration here um, with cupboards at the top you know really really nice i mean i'm going to spend a little bit of money on stuff like this. I mean, this, this garage, I'm gonna do it once, I'm gonna do it right, and it's gonna be fully kitted out. So my original 4,000 pound budget, uh, I could be sneaking over that now. But also I want a motorcycle lift. So I wanna put a motorcycle lift here. Definitely um, over So budget. I'm looking at motorcycle lift options. Again, I, I, want a, I want a decent lift. So we're gonna look into that. So, but I want a full on electric ramp for putting the bikes on, you know, oh, it's going to be, can't wait. The uh, the brickwork, I'm going to leave this as brick here. So that's just going to be like a bit of a feature with with the brick wall. I know if if I if we skim it, we're going to have to board it. It's just going to build that out more into the garage. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave that as a bit of a sort of a feature, bit of brickwork. I'll probably seal it with some brick sealer just to stop, you know, dust coming out of it. And the same here, same with the, uh, the frame around the, the door. So that's going to be left brick. And then we're gonna, well, I'm or Womble, or one of us is gonna build a, an MDF box section to go along the top there to fill in that gap at the top. So we're just awaiting the main man to arrive until we get going and get and get those boards up. I've promised him a takeaway lunch for his troubles. So uh, I've, we've got a nice lunch coming in a minute. Ooh, loaded fries and oh, it sounds delicious. I'll show you the lunch in a sec. I know you guys like the food. I've also got some more of my tea to come. My tea was a big hit. Everyone loved my milky tea. So uh, more milky tea as well. Well, he's arrived, <coughs> one boy's arrived, bought him some lunch. He got it all, man, yeah, got it all. We got a drink. You're not going to Vinto today? No, it's down market today. <laughs> that is proper Pepsi. everybody has gone for egg, egg mayo though. What are you going to do to me later on with that? Well, I'm, I'm thinking this bungs you up. So I haven't got have toilet breaks. <laughs> what have you got anyway? Loaded fries with sausage. You can do that with your fingers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a fork, mate. Shovel. That. <laughs> Absolute stuff. Need to have a little lie down now. I don't need to table. Take it. <laughs> All the full boards are done now. No more full boards to put up. Just got to get the one in the corner, that one there, and then the actual pillar is going to be. We're going to skim around. <laughs> what are you calling a pillock? <laughs> a pillock. Oh, the pillock's down there. The pillar <laughs> is there. We're going to we're going to skim the pillar. We're going to. We've never done any skimming before. We're going to give it a whirl. Can't be that hard. Rimming, not skimming. Rimming, not skimming. <laughs> Oh, 
that's it. That's mate. correct. You found it. You <laughs> went right away. Fully. Two hours. Boarded. How's it taking us? Four days? Is this the fourth day or is this the fifth day? Can't fifth. remember. <laughs> Time to be start. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, four days work there. So now we're going to tape it, tape the joints of the ceiling, and then we're going to have a go at skimming. See how we get on. That, that skimming is the worst? plastering, basically. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> <laughs> What have you got? Is that coffee? I've got tea, no, I'm just tea. Look at that. That's how tea should be made. Still looks a bit weak to me. Beautiful. Oh. Hey, mate, come on. Play the game. Play the game. <laughs> <laughs> what well, a job, eh, mate? Fuck, I'm knackered. I don't think we've done too much of a bad job there. First time having a go at plastering. I don't know what the fuss is about, people saying it's difficult. And we've, we've, it's just we've, like ice in a cake, isn't it? Ice in a cake, exactly. And we've got a little, uh, little, a little box section above there, a little plastered. I don't believe you two did that. Let's get plastered. Lovely. And you've got to paint it now, put a floor in, wire it up, move everything to where it's got to be, order the stuff for over there. And yeah, there are a few little jobs to do. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it actually looks like a like a room now, doesn't it? You think what it was like when we moved it when we first yeah. started? We've actually got a proper studio garage. The neighbours think I'm moving some Albanians in. <laughs> <laughs> Rent it out, two hundred pound a night. Probably get a few in here. So when you come around to help me paint it, then. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I can't get out. Come on, this door. So the plaster is finally dry. I'm gonna now do the first sort of base coat. When the plaster, when you've got flesh plaster like this, you have to coat it first of all. So what you can do is like a 50-50 mix with white paint and water. But what I've actually bought is a special stuff which is meant for fresh plaster. They talked me into it at b and I knew I should have gone with a 50-50 mix, but it'll be a bit less slot. If you do a 50-50, obviously it's very wet, it drips on everything. So. Uh, we're gonna go with this special stuff, it's a bit thicker. Shouldn't be so much splash. I should be able to leave the bikes in here under their covers without worrying about them getting covered in paint. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. Well, after many, many coats of paint and lots of work, I finally got the garage more or less fundamentally finished from a build perspective. Have a look at this. Absolutely over the moon with how this has come out. Like little details like, you know, right up in the corner there, look. <laughs> I've used some frog tape to cut in nicely with, with, with the dark colour. And the, and the white. The reason for the dark is I'm going for some garage style floor mats and the floor mats were going to be exactly, I had the colour match to the floor mats which was that colour and once the hexagonal lighting goes in you can see how it's shiny. This is a silk paint so you'll get some sort of reflection around the outside of the hexagonal lights but uh, yeah I'm uh, <laughs> I'm absolutely over the moon. I've got all the sockets wired, all fully working. Oh, USB. I'm just playing around with layouts of where the cabinets are going to go now. So I'm getting, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, a Craftworks unit here, corner unit here, which will sort of sit, I think, next to this one. And then the fridge freezer's there. Can't get rid of that. That's got to stay, unfortunately. And then another cupboard. And I may do another cupboard here. I think it will fit. 
I think it will fit or have two here. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely loving this. I've got to say a humongous thank you to Womble for all his help with this. I, I couldn't have done it without him. I absolutely couldn't have done it without him. So massive appreciation, my Womble. You're a star, mate, absolute star. When you get your double garage, you know who to call to help you do it. Not me. <laughs> so there we are. So now we move on to the more exciting stuff like the, uh, the cabinets. The flooring garage style is coming out and they're probably gonna go for the vented mats, but they've also got a new tile now, like a solid tile, which will plug into the vented tiles. So I'll probably do a solid tile around the workshop area where the bike lift's gonna be and then the vented for the rest of the garage. But I've got to decide on the design. There's so many color options. There's too much choice, so uh, I've got to do that. They're coming into the month to actually do that. So that'll be a video when we do the uh, floor tiles. Once the floor tiles are done, they're down. Oh, it's just gonna transform it and just finish it off. But I'm so excited, so happy. How it's come out is just unbelievable. And yes, me and Womble, didn't actually do the plastering. <laughs> I brought someone in to skim it. So a uh, big old thanks uh, to, uh, what was his name? Blimey. Alan. Alfred. Massive thanks to Alfred for doing the skimming. It was 600 quid to skim the whole room. It took him two days. You know, we, we couldn't have done it, but uh, we thought we'd have a bit of fun with you. But yeah, there we go, all done. More exciting stuff to come. See you in the next one, guys.